Hello everyone and welcome to Stalker Anomaly Episode 2. In our first episode traveling throughout the zone, we saw just how dangerous life can be here, and that the thin line between life and death grows stronger the further north you go. So we took the first episode to get prepared and get acquaintance to some interesting characters. One of them, a quirky trader called Sidorovich, told us about an interesting persona called Strelok. Apparently, he is a legendary stalker who was seen going north, right into the heart of the zone. And we, wanting to know the secrets of the zone, met up with one of his friends that told us the location of one of his safe houses. Apparently though, it's underground and shared with some not-so-friendly neighbors. And today, well, today we're going there. This is where the story really starts and I really hope you enjoy. Man, this is gonna suck at all levels. <laughs> Anyways, let's start off with a bang, shall we? That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Shut off the barrel there. Okay. There's quite a lot of them here. Hmm. Wonder if that's all of it. Okay. Not too bad then. I think there's one more. We got them pretty good with the grenade though. Killed at least two of them. Hmm. Adidas track suit this one? Maybe. Doesn't want to die though. Okay, he's dead. So that's like the first level. <laughs> Bandits are like the easy part. The, um, the hard part is gonna be all the burkers, controllers and bloodsuckers we're gonna have to go through. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna loot these guys and we're gonna get going. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. This is where the chill start. Cause I know there is no more humans past this. I think it's better off if I just shoot because usually there's like a I don't know it changes but there should be a bloodsucker right here see if anyone catches the bait hmm doesn't seem like it hmm the things I do for Strelok. <laughs> There's one there. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. It's not a bloodsucker. I think it's some sort of zombie, to be honest. That thing just moved, though. Man. Oh. That's a bloodsucker right there. Seems like there's a controller around too. Or a burker. I'm not too sure. I'm always mistaking both of them. He's the one making the creepy noises though. Could be here actually. Yeah. Man, this shotgun is amazing. <laughs> Look how fast it kills. 
Jeez. What do you call these again though? Is it Burker or Controller? Because I'm always getting the name wrong. Let me see here actually. Burker. Okay, so it's a Burker. Hmm. So if I remember correctly, pretty sure it's this way. There should be like a hole in the wall. Yep. And here we are. Strelok's hideout, or one of them. So anyway, I need to get the documents, right? We gotta know where this guy is. <laughs> Let me see here. It's military documents, that's not what we're looking for. I'll take that. Definitely take the food. Hmm. Oh, that's right there. Strelok's notebook. I think you can actually read these things. Not too sure, because I never did it. But I, I'm pretty sure you can actually read them, which is kind of cool. This play is actually really cool. Let's see here. War Notebook? It's about X-18, maybe I can sell it. Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god. I don't like that. Please. That's the thing about bloodsuckers, man. I knew that that was too too easy. That was way too easy for me. Hmm. And now they go into hide. It's so annoying. Man. Oh. Some good job right there. Let me spill your guts, see what the guy has. Absolutely nothing useful. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> now you see, this is usually a problem for a lot of people. It's quite simple. See what I did there? Just throw a bolt. Once you throw it, it gives you like a split second where, I can actually, where you can actually move through it. It's pretty good. It's a instantaneous death otherwise, which is not so good. And I learned that because I had to quick save back to my previous save right at the stairs for like, I don't know, 10 times today. <laughs> but now I figured it out, which I think I used to remember. But I just forgot. <laughs> Anyways. This dude is not looking so good today. Hmm. I wonder why. It's kind of a creepy spot, this one. Yep. Hell is that? Just a, a little bit of cement. For a second, I actually thought that was like a body or something aiming at me. There's no flashlight, though. Let's see what the boxes have. I do, there was a comment on my last video uh, telling me to uh, crack open like all of these. And I do do it most of the time. The thing is, in Expedition 2.0, they have something called like realistic loadouts or something. So if you find people like, like the military for example, they're actually gonna have pretty good weapons. Um, with a lot of ammo too, which is kinda cool. Oh. So I don't really need to loot those little things that much. That's pretty much what I want to say. Oh, come on. Well, how can't I hit them with the shotgun? What the hell? Well, I guess we're going up there. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. What the hell? I think that's another burger. Or a controller, actually. Okay, so this one might actually be a... A controller. And then we have this thing. Hmm. Oh, these ones are usually not worth checking out. They're always empty. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh! Oh, my weapon! I lost my... 
Oh, there it is. What? I can't run. I'm not overweight. Oh, it's holding me back, actually. Oh, crap. We actually gotta get out of here, because that thing is gonna burn us. Oh, yeah. There they are. Jeez, man. Doesn't want to die. Oh, come. Oh, what? It's a little thing again. It survived. What the? Dude, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> the box killed it. Cool. Oh, come on. I can't find them. I gotta take something for this radiation or the psyche, the psyche thing. I'll take this. This sounds safe. <laughs> Looks safe. Oh man, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, we got the controller. There's burkers though. Cool. Come on. That's really unfortunate. I really gotta repair the shotgun. There we go. There's more though. Honestly, I think we have to push it. There we go. Oh, well, something fell off the sky. <laughs> oh man, I think we're gonna die though. I really think we're gonna die. I might have to just keep metting, but I don't know. I can't even see anything, all the screen is red. I'm probably gonna add some extra brightness, because I literally cannot see anything. Jeez. There's a door there. Hopefully we can make it. There's a lot of radiation here too. Can I open it? Oh, it opens my way, yeah, okay. That was pretty intense. Let's see if there's anything here. Hmm, I'll take this. have to go that way man but I don't know this was intense you know what I'm gonna have some vodka I think and I'm gonna meet you guys outside because I've got enough underground for me today jeez So, with the valuable secrets of the underground bunker on my hand and Strelok's notebook in the other, I turned back out of the deep tunnels and went outside for some well-deserved fresh air. After some light reading, it was clear to me that Strelok went northeast into a city called Rostock. Rostock was a safe place for lonely stalkers like myself. It's ran by Duty, a military faction that pledged to get rid of the zone and will continue doing so by any means necessary, usually involving killing hundreds upon hundreds of mutants. The bar there was my next stop and as the night fell I felt like I was getting closer and closer to my objective. Alright, so here we are. Rostock. Pretty much the hub for anything stalker related here in the zone. It's actually a really cool town, it's very well defended. Um, it is very hard to penetrate this, and I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean, but... Like I said, Rostock, you have everything you need here. So I'm really happy that I'm finally here. <laughs> I'm gonna repair my stuff, but don't forget, get some ammo, and talk to Barkeep. Hmm. There's some duty soldiers there. Hopefully, if I keep my weapon down, they don't shoot me. I don't think they will. Cool. That's a lot of them too. Feel very protected already. It's actually kind of nice because they're getting attacked by mutants like every day. It's really cool. It's a really cool town, but I guess everyone is sleeping. Alright, before we do anything, I do need to repair my shotgun. Because if I don't do this now, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> That's just how I am. But let me just sell these things first. I don't think I'm gonna need them. Expedition 2.0 is actually kind of easy of a mod pack, so you know, casings, stuff like that. Honestly, 
You don't need them. But I do want to repair the shotgun though. Yeah. 9k, that's actually not too much. How much does he... Hmm. That's not bad at all, I don't think. That was a little bit pricey. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Let me see if this guy... Basic tools. Not my kind of work. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go take a nap. And tomorrow, we're gonna go hang out in the bar. Hmm. It's kinda empty today. I wonder. I bet everyone is like outside doing something much more fun. It's kinda hard to believe. It's a bar with apparently marijuana everywhere. <laughs> Russian chocolate. I've consumed. Anyways, barkeep, what's up, my dude? Let's see what the guy has. Um, I need information. Strelok. What? Here in the bar? No, you narrowly missed him. He passed by yesterday. I told him that a lot of people were looking for him, but he was ad adamant that he couldn't stay to chat. He was with four other stalkers headed north. I reminded him that the brain scorcher is active again, but he didn't seem to mind. Put up all the food in my kitchen and off they went. I'd call him a fool as if he hasn't already survived all those years in the most dangerous parts of the zone. You say he wasn't alone. He had a few companions with him, tough, experienced stalkers from the looks of it, not a bunch of uh, greenhorns for sure. Part of the reason I didn't really try to stop them, they all seemed to know what they were doing. So Strelok was last seen going past the barrier. I'm on a mission to find him and it seems like it just got that much harder. That's what you get when you try to pursue a legend. I bet it set his sights on the Chernobyl NPP again. Getting there will be quite an ordeal, especially with the brain scorcher in the way. I wouldn't go there without some sort of uh, advanced psi protection. When you get that covered, talk with Gatekeeper. He's a walking slab of a single-minded grit who helps to defend the barrier. He might help you later on. Hmm, it's very important, so I'll do my best. Thanks for the info. Barkeep, really nice guy this one. Our conversation with Barkeep was enlightening. He told us about the stalker who might know Strelok whereabouts and could possibly help us find him. He was a particularly known fella, called by many as the Defender of the Barrier, title won by, no doubt, repelling hundreds of monolith attacks. But Barkeep warned us about the Brain Scorcher, a powerful device that will make the journey across it simply impossible. And to do so safely, we will require a special gadget which costed a lot of money and well, money was tight, so we had to do something about it. I decided to do some missions for the duty faction. The pay was good, and they seemed pretty easy. The first one, take out the bandit group, north side of the garage. Hmm. Okay. Wow, I... I really messed that up. <laughs> okay. There we go. One more. Man, this scope. I just bought this scope in uh, Rostock. It makes everything so much easier. If you have like 7k to spare, this thing is a lifesaver. The PSO scope for the AKs. It is just... Oh, look, see, another one. It is just way too good not to use it. I do have a red dot on myself, but yeah, better to have two than none. Really hit me there. Hmm. Anyways, that was the last one. We do have another mission, just some quick cash. I gotta find the fate of a missing soldier. Hmm. Well, I don't see him, but um, I think I see uh, <laughs> the, uh, the potential killer. It might have been those guys. Things I don't know. I don't. I know they're not called fleshes. I don't know all the names um, of mutants in this game, but I think there's. Yeah, so it's gotta be them. I mean, that's what killed it, right? 
I don't see where it went now. Hmm. Anyways, we're gonna do this mission, get the money, and then... Oh, never mind. There we go. Oh, there's one more, too. Oh, he's running. He's coming for us. Yep. My dude. KS-23. <laughs> Gets wrecked. Anyways, where is this guy? Oh, it's right here. Apparently. Should be. Oh, there it is. What is this, though? Who killed it? Oh. An SVD? Oh, I won't run, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. What, what killed it, though? I don't... Hmm. This thing, but... What is this? Is this a bloodsucker? Oh, yeah, it is. It is a bloodsucker. Hmm. Anyways, we have a travel hub ahead, so I will see you guys in the Antar. Well, hello there. <laughs> so, here we are. Yantar. This place is creepy as hell. Um, the bunker is right up ahead. So what we gotta do, if I didn't explain it before, we have to... Oh. Hmm. We have to uh, get ourselves some sort of device that will help us go through the brain scorcher. What the hell is going on? Actually, you know what? This is the Antar. It's always like this. It is radioactive as hell. And there's always someone shooting something. It is like the worst place in the zone. Besides like the CNPP or the Red Forest. Or Radar. Hmm. Thinking about it, there's actually a lot of really bad places in the zone. I don't think there's actually any good places. Maybe... Cordon. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Ecologist Bunker. It's actually really cool. It's probably the only safe place here. Dude, they're really going in there. What? Some night raids? What the hell? Anyways. Let's enter the bunker. Totally get you, man. Yes, I agree. Can I... No, I cannot take that. So, Professor. Hello. Mm -hmm. Привет, um, I've come to see you. Oh yes, good, I have an important job for you. Important research was conducted in Lab X18, but we have been unable to get access to analyze it. Okay, good luck. This is not the mission I'm looking for. I wanna buy the, um, the device. What can you tell me about the brain scorcher? Well, we still have much to learn, but I suppose it won't hurt to share what little we know with you. The brain scorcher seems to emit an invasive frequency that affects the mind of any who journey too close to Pripyat center, the NPP or the wrong side of the Red Forest. The symptoms include migraines, hallucinations, tunnel vision, and without sounding unprofessional, zombification. <laughs> if I had to give a scientific estimation, I'd identify the brain scorcher as a remote psi transmitter, though I'd have to conduct more invasive research before fully settling on that conclusion. Hmm, I still need that helmet though. Um, I assume you understand the risk of going through these physically volatile areas, do you? Well, alright, I believe you do. You wouldn't ask me about it otherwise. Well, there has been this one model we have been working on carefully, but it remains unfinished and it lacks final calibrations. We could grant you the Psy Helmet immediately as it is for a mother sum of 10,000 rubles. However, you will be placing your life in the hands of incomplete hardware. There's one more possibility though, we can speed up the calibration, so I gotta pay 17,000 rubles, which is double. And we have to wait two days, great. Uh, but to be honest, I've never played without the uncalibrated version, and I won't do it now. I guess I'll just have to chill around, or I can do some missions, but I'm probably gonna chill around because I don't feel like going outside, so I hope my patience will be worth the fully calibrated helmets. And man, did we wait a long time. Two days felt forever. Wasn't too bad though, I managed to make some friends, and uh, check this out, one of the guys was apparently not a alcoholic, 
at least that's what he said, but truth comes to show when he traded in 2 mags of 545 for 2 bottles of vodka. Priorities. Yantara was not a nice place though, the entire feeling of this area is very dreary, there's zombies everywhere and I mostly couldn't leave the bunker area. But alas, time is always in our side and after those 2 days ended, I was ready to reap my reward. I collected the Psy Helmet and made my way towards Gatekeeper. And this is where we meet our biggest enemy to date, the Monolith. So we should be going the right way. Anyways, let me get some uh, high ground here. There's a lot of shots here. <laughs> Carby warehouses, man. It's always busting, isn't it? Hmm. We do have two missions, by the way. I just picked one up from the doctor itself or the professor. Oh. Duty soldier. There's a bandit. He's alone? Hmm. Gonna check it out. Yeah, he was alone. Anyways, like I was saying, I did pick up a new quest. It's right next to the quest we have to do, which is talk with Gatekeeper. I just gotta pick up, um, I think it's like a stash or something, or maybe a dead body again. Not too sure, but it's on the way there, so. Well, like, why not? <laughs> That's allies right there. I'm pretty sure those are, uh, did free stalkers or free them? It's kind of weird, because if they're free them, where's the duty guy right behind us? Hmm, they should be shooting each other. That's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> our package should be... Hmm, more of those guys. Their allies were good. Um, our package... What? Should be right around here. Somewhere. Oh, this ain't cool. I don't know what it is. Is it a controller, maybe? Hmm. I'm gonna take some of these, you never know. And I do not want to potentially shoot myself in the head, so this one should really help me with my with my mental strength. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, it's it's a bandit. Where did he came from, man? He just came out of nowhere. Oh, it's a polder, guys. Yeah, I'm going. Getting the hell out of there. There's so much stuff going on right now. I think we're good here. Let me see where my quest is. Oh, we just missed it. It's where we came from. Where is it? I can't find it. Is there zombies? More zombies as well? I'm kind of confused. Hmm. Oh. It's a goddamn snorkel. I cannot see it. I really just can't see it. Shit. Alright, this is... I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna see where it is. It's right next to us. We're gonna pick it up, and we're gonna go. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Okay, so I got the goddamn research. Oh, it's still here? Anyways, yes, the research documents. That was the entire thing I was trying to explain. <laughs> I also had to pick up some research documents. Jesus. That was kind of scary, because I, I don't really... I'm not 100% sure what I was dealing with there. And like the unknown is like the worst part. <laughs> Anyways, gatekeeper. Privet. What brings you to the end of the world? Well, tell me about yourself. Sure, things are quiet right now anyways, and you can call me Gatekeeper. I took part in the Pripyat Raid, way back in 2012. Now I spend my days watching over this little stretch of road they call the Barrier. What? Most volunteers don't stick around so long, so someone asked you. About a year ago, stalkers in the north began disappearing without a trace. We suspected it was because of a new cult, perhaps hiding out in the forests, even around the NPP. But then the monolith hit. 
We couldn't believe it at first. Monolith hadn't been seen in six years, yet there they were, plain as day. Comrades presumed dead for years were found wearing the colors of the Wish Granter, fighting like fanatics. I was too late to stop them, retaking Pripyat and Radar. Hmm. So I've been following a stalker named Strelok that he passed by a week or so. Strelok? I know him, we met a couple times during our deep zone excursions. He actually came along a few days ago and asked me about the situation. Then he and his team helped us repel another monolith incursion. We can usually manage our own, but they did a really good job. So you saw them cross the barrier then? Yep, that's right, they were armed with psi helmets to a man. For all I know, they might be scoring a lab X-19 for some sort of treasure. Damn, there's no way around it. Um... Seems so, but if you have something to protect you from the psychic emanations, you could try to catch up with them and even deactivate the brain scorcher. Strelok achieved that on his own a few years ago. If you're determined that you want to follow him to the zone, you might manage as well. Or return as a zombie. Who knows? Oh, oh, we're getting attacked. Okay. Well, that changed rather quickly. Oh, I see them. Oh, there's too many. Oh, crap. Why? I never load my weapon. I'm gonna throw an aid. Jeez. Too close. Oh, I need a new angle. I'm getting shot at a bunch. Can't really see them because of the tall grass, neither. I'm gonna quick save, you never know. Hmm. Oh man. I think he, he was right there, right? I don't have bandages. Dude, we're screwed. Cool, that's one. Oh crap, he scared the crap out of me. He's so white, looks like a monolith. Oh. Okay, that's two. There's one right here. Jeez. I'm pretty pinned here. Oh! Oh, jeez, I gotta go. Yep, covering fire. Let's go. I gotta retreat a little bit. I do not want to be on the... Uh, That guy's armored. I think we got him though. Uh, but yeah, I do not want to be on the uh, grenade radius. Hopefully, this AP do a little bit of better job. Oh crap! I cannot see him. And I'm out of bandages. That's really sucky. I still got some aid kits, but I'm gonna drain them all. That was my last grenade too. I might actually, you know what, I'm gonna go for a left side flank. Hmm. I don't see that last guy. Oh, I think I see him actually. I think he's right there. Yep. Nice. Oh. Holy shit, can I get a break please? <laughs> Oh my god, we gotta get to cover, boys. This is it. <laughs> Gatekeeper, what are you doing? Get to cover, dude. No? <laughs> Guy's crazy. Holy crap. Well, guys. Rest in peace for me.
go anywhere, I am still here, I just wanted to leave a big huge thank you to every single one of you guys that made it towards the end of the video. It means the actual world to me that you guys can actually deal with me for so long, sometimes I can't even do that and I really 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 appreciate it and really feel the love. If you're new here then hey why not leave a like in the comments, I know this is super cliche, hence why I leave it towards the end of the video but you guys have no idea how much it really helps for the channel. Ultimately I'm here because I have fun doing so but I will be lying if I said that I don't have goals for my YouTube channel. And one of those goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers, it's really hard but I will have zero subs if not for you guys and we're halfway there so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and uh, well yeah I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. It's really weird when I don't have a script. But anyways thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Saturday for Stalker Anomaly episode 3. And there will be episodes so you know different games in the middle of that week. Ah, see you guys.